disease and the prevention of disease is a complex matter. Since the moment that we are born till the moment we died, we are going to be exposed to different factors. The things you eat, the things you breathe, the things you do, the work you have, the stressors you may experience that either increase your risk or protect you from certain diseases. Lifespan research is the study of all the factors, some known, some unknown, that determine an individual's risk for disease across the continuum of life. It involves the influence in utero, on the fetus, and then into early childhood, adolescence, early adulthood, into adulthood, and into old age. It's an expanded view of how things operate in terms of exposures, disease, and the connections in between. At Albert Einstein College of Medicine and the Montefiore Health System, the Institute for Clinical Translational Research offers the template for investigators from all fields to learn about these different diseases across the lifespan and collaborate. In pediatrics, we like to think about the antecedents of adult disease are happening during our watch. As a pediatrician, that to me holds the biggest promise in life course research. We are fortunate to be a participant in a large study from the National Institutes of Health called ECHO. It's the first large cohort of newborn infants across the country that will be followed from birth onward for at least 20 years to see if there are certain exposures over time that influence health and disease. There's a long history at Einstein Montefiore of research in health disparities. We try to integrate a life course perspective into the understandings of health disparities. We know that there are certain groups, either because of low socioeconomic status or because they belong to certain special populations, that they have higher rates of morbidity and mortality. The Hispanic Community Health Study, or a study of Latino, is a landmark study established in 2008 and enrolled in more than 16,000 participants of Hispanic background across four field centers with the idea of identifying what are the risk factors that put Latinos at higher risk of cardiovascular disease and diabetes and lung diseases. The science that's available and the structure here and the Institute for Clinical Translational Research is a perfect time to be engaged in this life course research. At the ICTR, we created the lifespan and special population core to foster and enhance translational research across the lifespan. And our hope is that this can create a dialogue between investigators at different stages of their careers, whether they are those who are just starting or those who are more established, to get that novel ways to look at disease prevention. Putting them together both experimentally and clinically is unique. The potential is unknown.